In this video, we're gonna be talking about the five key principles of productivity, C, C, O, R, and E, that when I discovered them a few years ago, pretty much overnight, they just immediately made me more productive and made my life a lot less stressful. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a doctor based in the UK. And on this channel, we explore the strategies and tools that help us live healthier, happier, more productive lives. And this video is gonna be one of the 25 lessons in my brand new Skillshare class about productivity. We're gonna be looking at David Allen's amazing book called Getting Things Done, which is literally the Bible of productivity. And when I discovered this book a few years ago, it completely changed the game for me and my own productivity system. As of today, that class is now available on Skillshare, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. So what that means is that the first 1,000 people to hit the link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare. During that trial, you can watch like the other five classes I've also got on Skillshare. I've got two about productivity, two about how to study for exams, one about stoicism, kind of techniques that made me happier, and one about how to edit videos exactly like this one using Final Cut Pro. If you haven't heard by now, Skillshare is an amazing platform that has thousands of classes on all sorts of topics from creativity to entrepreneurship, to illustration, to graphic design, to cooking. Uh, but you should definitely watch all of my classes first and then you can watch other people like my friend Thomas Frank who has his own productivity classes. And once your trial is over, the annual premium subscription is less than $10 a month. It is totally worth it. I pay for it even though they sponsor my videos and I use Skillshare as my first go-to place whenever I need to learn anything. But yeah, the first thousand people please hit the link in the video description. You can watch the entirety of my 25 part class about productivity uh, if you want. Uh, and if you don't, then here is this excerpt, which is I think like nine minutes long, talking about the five key principles of productivity from David Allen's Getting Things Done. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so the first thing in our engineer section, and you know, remember the job of the engineer is speed, efficiency, and organization. The first thing I wanna talk about is getting things done, which is a sort of productivity methodology uh, named after a book written by a guy called David Allen. And getting things done is seen as the Bible on productivity. We're just gonna do a very quick introduction to it here. I recommend you read the book. It's an amazing book. It is the single book that has most transformed my own productivity. And there are millions of people around the world who, have, who say exactly the same thing. Like if you're into productivity, you, you have to read Getting Things Done. There is just no substitute for it. Uh, I'll do a dedicated Skillshare class about it if people are interested because I think it's very, very interesting. But there is a five step process to getting things done, which we're gonna talk about now. Firstly, what's the point? Well, the the idea behind getting things done is that we all have like, and, and the more, the more you get into the world of work, like actual, actual work, the more you realize you have, like we all have all of these different kind of commitments. We have these different to-dos. We have all these things on our calendar. We have all these areas of our life that we want to kind of sustain. We also don't just want to be effective at work. We want to be effective at home and at school and at university with our friends. We, we've, we've got all of these things in our life to track and organize. And often we're storing all of these things in our head and therefore we get frazzled and we become overwhelmed with the amount of stuff we have to do. And so getting things done or GTD for short gives us a system for organizing all of these commitments in our life and of getting them done effectively. And David Allen's main point is that there's sort of two realms in which we wanna organize this. We wanna organize them horizontally and also vertically. Horizontally means that across all of the things that we're involved in, we kind of wanna keep them fairly tidy. Like we want our work life to be fairly tidy where we know what we have to do. We want our home life to be fairly tidy. We want our relationships to be fairly tidy. We want our kids to be fairly tidy in general. We, we want to appreciate kind of all the stuff. We don't want to have like work or work life, which is super, super organized. And then suddenly we're at home and we're kind of our to-do list is all over the place and we don't know what's going on. We want to maintain horizontal coherence across the board, but also we want to be thinking vertically and keep things tidy vertically. Vertically means within a given project or a given area, we want to efficiently and effectively get stuff done that moves us towards our particular goals for those. So that's a little bit abstract initially. There's a lot more in the book about it if you want to read it, but there's basically a five-step process to GTD and that's capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. C-C-O-R-E, capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. Let's start with capture. Basically, the main idea from getting things done is that our mind is for having ideas, not for storing them. And a big reason as to why lots of us are less productive or feeling overwhelmed or feeling stressed is because we are using our brain as a to-do list. We don't really have a dedicated system in which to offload ideas and offload things that we have to do. So the main point in step one capture is that any open loop in our mind, anything we have to do, anything that's on our mind, we write it down and put it somewhere. And so with me, for example, I'm completely obsessed with capture. I think for me, it's been the single most important thing that's made me more productive and less stressed in general, which is that the instant I have an idea for something I need to do or something I need to remember or something, you know, just an idea, I will write it down somewhere. Now, usually I use the app Things on my iPhone to write this down. It doesn't really matter what app you use, you can use a to-do list. Um, if it's an idea for a video, I'll put it in Notion. If I'm driving, I'll put it in Drafts. I've got lots of videos on my YouTube channel where I talk more about the capture habit, but 
essentially the way it works is that anytime I'm I'm finding my brain trying to remember something that, oh yeah, I should reply to that person's email, you know, which is an idea I might have while, you know, doing the groceries. I kind of have an, a, a bit of an allergic reaction because I, I think, no, 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 there is no way this is staying in my head because I'm just going to forget, forget about it because I'm a total dumbass and I don't trust my brain to remember anything. And so I will always write it down. And that's kind of the first step. Like David Allen says that a big part as to, of why we're all very stressed about everything and we have overwhelmed by all the stuff we have to do is because we don't have a centralized trustworthy system. Part, like we might use a to-do list, but often we don't use our to-do list for 100% of the things we actually have to do. We would maybe use our to-do list for 70% of them, but when it comes to, oh, I should, you know, it's, it's my mom's birthday next week and I should get her a birthday card and a present. We would, information like that, we would just store in our heads. Whereas what David Allen is saying is that every single thing in your life you want to capture and you want to offload into an external system, uh, an app or a note paper or kind of whatever you want to do. And once you once you have 100% coverage, that means you can now trust your system rather than relying on system plus brain. So capture is number one of the process. Number two is clarify. Now, clarify is really interesting. And again, we can go on about, uh, about this for the ages. And I've got so much to say about GTD, but that's for a future Skillshare class. The idea behind clarify is that often procrastination and lack of productivity comes from not having a clearly defined next step. And when it comes to writing to-do lists, we are all notoriously bad at actually clarifying what each step means. So for example, on my to-do list, if I was doing this not well, like how I used to do it, I'd probably have website redesign on my to-do list. Like what the hell does that mean? Or for example, Skillshare class about productivity. Like what the hell does that mean? Like when I come to looking at that project or that task, it, it's, it's, it's not very well defined. And so the idea of clarify is we want to convert all of our to-do lists into action words. So for example, website redesign is a multi-step process where the first part is probably develop mood board on Pinterest using web design inspiration, where I kind of collect all my website and inspiration, stick it in a Pinterest board. Step two would probably be create mock-up in Sketch, which is a web design app showing structure of website. So those are very, very specific things which are within the general project of website redesign, which is the sort of thing you can't really work with. So step one, capture everything, but step two, clarify and make sure we've got a specifically defined next action that we want to be doing. Then we have step three, which is organize. And the idea is basically we want to put stuff where it needs to go. So if we have reference materials for an, for an email, we want to put it in the right folder in Evernote or Notion or whatever you want to use. I use Notion personally. And if we've got these items in our to-do list, we want to organize them into projects and areas. And then we probably want to organize them by kind of priority and deadlines. We want to add these kind of bits of metadata like due date and who it involves and what the deadline is, stuff like that. We want to add those things. It takes a little bit longer, but it keeps our whole system organized as a whole. And that is one of the most important jobs of the engineer. Step number four in GTD is reflect or review. Uh, and that's when we come into doing things like weekly reviews, monthly reviews and stuff like that. Uh, more on that in a later video in this class. And finally, step five is engage, which is to actually do the thing, uh, kind of look through our list which is now 100% covered across the board. We don't have any information in our heads that is kind of keeping us up at night. Everything is in our system. And then we're choosing to do the things that are gonna make us the most effective. So that's just a very quick whistle stop tour through the five step structure of GTD, capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. 100% recommend you should read the book. I'm gonna do loads of more videos about it. We're gonna do a more Skillshare class about it. Depending on when you're watching this, it might already be out. So look in my profile and look at that class. Genuinely discovering GTD, has been the single biggest change to my productivity like in my life. I think I first read it in my first or second year of university. And I thought, damn, I've been hearing about this book for so long, I can't believe I hadn't read it before. And literally everyone I know who's into productivity also swears by GTD because it's literally the Bible. You gotta read the book if you care about productivity. As an actionable point, honestly, I think the single biggest thing you can do right now is to take out a piece of paper or go on your to-do list app or you know, on the computer or Apple Notes or whatever you wanna use and literally just write down a list of every single thing that is on your mind as like a to-do list. So it can be anything like, you know, figure out furniture for my balcony or figure out website re-architecture or buy flowers for my mum, or send a thank you card to a friend for dinner or anything like anything that you've got on your mind. Really try and capture and put on this, on this piece of paper or on this list. Uh, like most people will have between 30 and 100 things if you're a normal person. And every time I do this, I mean, anytime I do like an online course about productivity, this is something they always talk about and I always go, like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And then I find I've got, I, even though I'm obsessed with capture, I still have so many open loops, so many kind of things that I've been thinking about that have just been weighing on my mind. And as soon as I get them onto my system, suddenly I feel a sense of relief. So that is your homework uh, from this video. Make a list, capture every single thing that's on your mind right now, 
stick it into an external system, a to-do list manager or a notes app of your choice. It really doesn't matter which one. And I promise you, you will feel a sense of relief. Uh, and that is kind of step number one of our engineer doing its job. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so that was a preview of what's in the class. We have another 24 videos available in the class. As I said at the start, first thousand people hit the link in the video description. You can sign up to a free two month trial of Skillshare where you can check the class out to your heart's content. That's it, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you wanna see more stuff that's on YouTube, you should check out the video here, which is all about the productivity equation. And that's where I talk about the amazing equation for productivity that you can use to target specific interventions at to help you leave a uh, healthier, happier, more productive life or something like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.